because I was very disappointed, even outraged, by the bill that was passed in the House last week that was really throwing obstacles in the way of Syrian and Iraqi refugees. It was bad enough that that bill came up. Uh, I was especially disappointed that my friend, actually, uh, Louise Slaughter, signed on to that. I think it was uncharacteristic of her and it was not, not the right thing to do. And I'm hoping for a better explanation and I'm hoping that she will do something material to undo what that bill is uh, trying to do. Hopefully it won't pass in the Senate and you know, so, but we need to help the Syrian and Iraqi refugees right now and they didn't. Yeah, yeah, of course, I mean, there's a lot of uh, bad actors here. I mean, we have to go back to the dismantling of the Ottoman Empire. The French, the British, and the Americans have been involved uh, deeply for a century now and have kept uh, the region from attaining democracy. Of course, the, the big thing on the mind of the uh, the old imperialist powers is access to oil and control of the world supply of oil. Um, more recently, the uh, first Gulf War under George H.W. Bush and then the uh, invasion of Iraq under George W. Bush, those are the proximate causes of the situation there, the meltdown in that entire region and the, the creation of, of uh, new generations of enemies of the, uh, of the United States. I mean, it's, it's terrible what's happening there, but it was perfectly predictable given what has been done by the great powers, so-called, over the last century to that region. Well, you know, the, in the near term, we want to have action Number one, stop that bill. Don't let it get through the Senate. Number two, take some more proactive steps to help the refugees. The numbers that are being let in, when they talk about 10,000 or something, that's a drop in the bucket. We need to do as, at least as well as Germany is doing. I would say, you know, start with hundreds of thousands and then go from there. This country can accommodate those refugees. In fact, they'll, they'll be not only welcome here by, by most people, but they will really enhance our society. Um, I'm here today because I'm very disappointed in the way that Louise Slaughter voted on this particular bill. Um, this bill is simply a hindrance to people who are fleeing the worst violence that we've experienced um, you know, in this generation, and it's, it's very disappointing to see that she had voted that way. I mean, it's really unfortunate. It, it, it really means that the terrorists are winning. Um, when they entrench that fear in us. That's what they're trying to do. Um, you know, after the attack on Charlie Hebdo back in, in the spring, ISIS specifically said that they're hoping to remove the gray area for Muslims in the West. They want to make it a black and white issue. They want to make it so that Muslims do not feel welcome in Western countries, so that they feel compelled to move back to the Middle East and to support the, their supposed Islamic State. Um, it, and the sentiment of fear and hatred and racism is feeding into that. We're letting them win. You know, the only way to defeat that sort of fear is with love and with humanity. Um, and it's disappointing to see that that's not the sentiment that we have here in America right now. They need to remember our Constitution. It's their job to uphold our Constitution. Our country was built on refugees. It was built on the backs of people who were fleeing unfair situations in other parts of the world. Um, what Syrians are going through is absolutely atrocious. Their lives in the refugee camps are atrocious as well. Children are freezing to death. Old people are starving to death. By saying that, oh, adding on a few extra steps to this process isn't going to hurt anything, yes, it will. People will continue to die. More people will die at our hands. The UN already has a very good system in place for checking and vetting refugees that are coming here. We've had 750,000 refugees admitted to the U.S. since September 11th. Not one of them, not one, has committed any kind of terrorist act or been committed of any crime. Um, so the system that's there is working. This is just creating more hindrances. It's just creating more death and destruction for people who are at their wit's end. And America is supposed to be opening its arms. And I want us to return to our values as a country.